and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. If you like what I do, please visit my website and you can, if you want to, leave a testimonial and just to tell others how listening to me has been useful to you. Right. I'm constantly looking for different ideas and ways um, you know, I read books and look at different uh, kind of techniques for calming down, you know, calming down uh, in a stressful situation. And there's a lot of breathing techniques that are offered. And... This, there are a few issues with some of the breathing techniques, especially when it comes to having, you know, in the, the midst of an anxiety attack. Because I found, when I was really going through it, that the last thing I wanted to focus on was my breath. Because I was, I'd become too conscious, too self-conscious of my breathing and almost felt like I was, you know, over-breathing. Maybe I was hyperventilating. At times felt like I was struggling to breathe. So it's, you know, the idea of actually focusing on my breath didn't really feel like the right thing to do at certain times I found it useful outside of those times when I was stressed for example doing mindfulness meditation counting the breaths but again, when you count the breaths during mindfulness meditation or, um, you know, those kind of things, you're not controlling the breath. You're just counting the breathing, how it is. So it's not like one... to, you know, it's, it's just breathing in whatever way that you are at that time. So, that's one thing I've been thinking about. When it comes to counting... Because it's the old thing, isn't it? If you if you're getting angry, count to ten before you respond or react or say something or whatever, or act upon how you're feeling. And I've been playing around with this, but instead of counting to ten, counting down from ten down to one. just in a a stressful feeling you know when I'm feeling a little bit or maybe a lot tense uh, stressed a bit anxious and I've only ever done this when I've been at home um, perhaps on a bus but I've never 
I've never done it in a workplace or anything like that. So, um, but I have done it when I've been here at home. And what I do, when I first started trying to do this, I was almost trying to force the counting. You know, like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then I was trying to like do it slowly. 10, 9, 8, 7, like that. And it felt wrong because I was trying to force it. But if I kind of felt I shouldn't be doing it quickly. I should be counting down quickly. That's that's wrong. In my mind, I was thinking that's if I'm counting down quickly, then how's that gonna relax me? However, what I discovered is if you count down I mean, it doesn't have to be 10 to 1, it could be 20 down to 1. But, you know, I, I just go for 10 to 1 and then just repeat it. If you count down from 10 to 1, what I do is I sit in a chair, close my eyes, and I just count down. Count at the speed that's comfortable for you right now. So not trying to force it. Not try, not even trying to change the speed at all. Just counting down from 10 to 1 at the speed that feels right for you in the moment. So it might be 2, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And what I noticed is it slowed down on its own. This may be due to the focusing on the counting rather than focusing on how you were feeling before. So, you know, you could put it down to a distraction technique. It's almost like you're building rapport with yourself by counting. And by starting counting at the speed that your mind is currently travelling, you know, I say travelling, but you know, moving around the thoughts, maybe very quick. So you're counting 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Because if your mind's very quick and you start going 10, 9, 8, it can calm you down. That's that's one way of doing it. But if you go with the speed that it is already, and then your mind calms and slows down naturally on its own. And then you just naturally, you're tuned in. And you start, well, you continue to count from 10 down to 1. And you notice how the counting slows down. But you're not forcing anything. You're not. There's no manipulation at all. It is literally just counting from 10 
down to one. You can do it out loud if you choose. If there's no one else around, ideally. You can do it in your head. You can just count in your head if you choose. It is completely up to you. But as you count... From ten down to one... At whatever speed feels correct for you in the moment that you're counting. You can also notice that sense of relaxation. But it's almost like a release. Like a I guess like a I don't know, like a, a bike tire being released, the valve and the air being let out of the tyre or a car, car tyre whatever, you know, a wheel tyre with air in it and it's just gently releasing the air and you're not pushing on the tyre to try and get more air out of it just allowing the air to leave in its own time. So the whole process really is fairly relaxing. Perhaps first few seconds you know when you're counting if you're especially if if you know if the stress level is a little bit high and you are counting 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 the first few times might not be hugely relaxing It's fairly boring in some ways. And counting down from 10 to 1 isn't the most exciting thing to do, which is why, why we do it to relax. You wouldn't do it if it was exciting. But it has, it's almost like we've got this inbuilt. Uh, a thing in our brain that recognises that counting down from 10 to 1 is a signal, a trigger for your body and mind to slow down and relax. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6... Five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. And with the breathing, we're not focusing on the breathing. We're not breathing in between each number. We're not breathing after each number. We're not saying three numbers and then breathing in and then three numbers and breathing out. There is no rule. We're just breathing however you breathe. So when I was counting down then, from 10 to 1, I noticed that my breathing changed. When I was doing it quickly, it was almost like I was trying to get from 10 to 1 without breathing I wasn't purposely trying to do that but my breathing was quicker and the ironic thing I don't know if that's the right word but when you actually say if you count down from 10 to 1 really quickly it automatically decreases your relaxation you kind of, it increases tension a little bit. 
Ten nine eight seven six five four three two one. So if something, if speeding it up, saying it quickly, increases tension, then when it slows down, it would reduce the tension and increase relaxation. Of course, you can go straight to the slow the slow counting but for this exercise I'm just going to go with what comes naturally it's almost like we're accepting and recognising that this is how we're feeling at the moment we're not dismissing it. We're not saying, I don't want this feeling. I want to feel different. Meh, meh, meh. And this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do something to make myself feel different. It can be a bit more gentler than that. It can be, this is how I'm feeling. It's not pleasant. But let's acknowledge that that's how I'm feeling at the moment and let's see how the feelings change as I count down from 10 to 1 at the speed that feels correct with how you're actually feeling in the moment. Which means you're not focusing on your breathing. You may notice the breathing changing, but you're not focusing on the breathing. You may notice your body relaxing, but you're not focusing on your body relaxing. You just accept whatever happens. You accept the relaxation of your body, just like you accepted the tension that was there before you began counting down from 10 to 1 at the speed that feels right with how you're feeling in that moment. And then as you continue to count down from 10 to 1, the speed of the counting naturally slows down. And there's no effort involved from your part you don't have there's nothing to do you don't have to do anything you don't purposely slow it down for this exercise you just count down from 10 to 1 there is a chance you could fall asleep doing this because the relaxation that occurs could lead to falling asleep. So, of course, only ever do it if it's safe to close your eyes and, you know, it's safe to fall asleep. But chances are you won't fall asleep if you're doing it during the day and you've, you know doing it for a specific set of time so maybe set your alarm so you might say well I'm going to do this for 10 minutes set my alarm for 10 minutes time and make sure the alarm is soft not some big loud alarm that's going to startle you just gentle So that's the process, that is it. You notice that you need to relax. That your the feelings that you've been having were uncomfortable. Sit down in a comfortable chair. Make sure it's safe to close your eyes. And then just start counting down from 10 to 1 
at the speed that feels exactly how you feel. Whatever speed is right. Don't try and control the speed. Don't try and make it slower. Don't try and make it faster. Just count down at the speed that your mind is moving. And you acknowledge how you're feeling. You accept how you're feeling. And you do something to change it. And just continue to count down from 10 to 1. Observe it. So observe how you feel differently. Notice how the counting slows down. But without really giving it too much attention. Just going with how you feel. Counting at the speed that your mind is moving. You can notice your breathing, but we're not focusing on that. The only thing we're focusing on is the counting from 10 down to 1 at the speed that feels correct in that moment the speed that your mind is moving in in that moment and then just com- yeah com- just continue repeat 10 down to 1 10 down to 1 and then keep doing it until You're feeling how you want to feel. And that level of comfort and relaxation that feels right for you can only be judged by you. Only you know when you feel comfortable enough, relaxed enough, calm enough. But your mind is slowed down enough for you to just move on with the rest of your day. So that's the end of this recording. Let me know how you get on. And I wish you lots of luck with this. And please remember to be kind to yourself. Because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.